In this video, we are going to show you how to set up the trending feature in the F4T. Trending allows you to view a graphical representation of the information. From the home page, press the main menu key. If you've ordered trending, there will be an icon labeled trending. And this takes you to the trending menu where you can see you have up to four different trend charts you can pick from. You might want to set up trend charts based on channel or perhaps by groups of parameters such as sensors or set point. To begin, select actions. View represents going directly to the trend view. View edit details takes you to the formatting for the chart. By formatting, I mean the X and Y axis types of information. Edit pens, this is where you can pick which parameters you want to appear in the trend chart, as well as the pen color. Clear all if you want to wipe out all the settings for the current chart. And cancel if you want to exit out of the menu without making any changes. So let's select view edit details so we can format the chart. First parameter is name. I can name this trend chart. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do trend chart 1 based on channel 1. I'm going to do channel 1 sensor, channel 1 set point, and channel 1 percent power. So with that in mind, why don't I call this chart channel 1 temp. Grid display, this turns on a grid on the graphical view, on or off. Auto scaling is associated with the Y axis. If I want the controller to automatically pick the values, uh, I can choose auto scaling on. If not, select off, and what will appear will be the low value and high value numbers for the Y axis. So I can type in what I want it to be if I want it fixed minus 10 to 125. Time span is the last parameter. This is the x-axis value. I can have the x-axis represent five minutes worth of time all the way up to a maximum value of 14 days. All right, so that's the formatting for the trend chart. Step two will be to edit the pens. So I can pick up to six different parameters to appear in the chart. Select Edit, Edit Source. As I mentioned, I'm going to do Channel 1 Sensor, Channel 1 Set Point, and Channel 1 Percent Power. So Analog Input, Channel 1 Temp Sensor, Edit 2, Edit Source. Um, values, I can pick the sensor. I can pick a process value, set point, or percent power. Um, other options in the menu, clear and cancel. So process value, it does have a degree of overlap with analog inputs, um, but there might be more options. I might have two analog inputs, one representing uh, temperature for dry bulb, and one representing uh, moisture, wet bulb, and those two analog inputs might come into a process value and produce a relative humidity output. So that would be a reason why I'd want to pick process value instead of just a raw analog input. All right, so I think I want to do channel 1 temp set point for my second parameter, and then the third was going to be the heat percent power. Now notice these names here. Just like how we named channel 1 temp as the chart name, you can name a lot of parameters in the F4T. So these are all names that I've typed in for these parameters that uh, represent something to me based on the application. So I've got my three parameters and I can go back in if I want to edit the colors. First one's blue. Uh, there's up to ten different colors you can pick. I'll change that one to yellow. Uh, also, instead of pressing edit and then picking source and color, I can also change the source and color just by pressing on the value. That'll take me directly to the source or I can press the color and it takes me right to the color menu. Let's make that one light green. Okay, done. So that's really it for the two steps. So actions, why don't I go and view the chart? So it takes me to the chart. 
I can see the name of the chart, channel 1 temp. Nothing's playing yet. If I want to turn the trend chart on, I can hit the three dots, which indicates a more menu button. Four icons appear. The lower icon is the play stop. Press that. It'll start turning on the pins, and I'll start plotting across. Uh, the other icons represent the grid lines on or off. The second icon is the menu button for trending. So if I want to go back in and edit the pens or the formatting of the chart, I can do so. Uh, the third and last icon that we didn't cover is a picture of a camera. I can take a bitmap image of the screen. I have a memory stick plugged into my USB host port. If I press that camera button, it'll slide those buttons out of the way, take an image, and send it to the uh, USB with a confirmation message that it took that screenshot. Also, in terms of a color-coded legend, right now it's showing unit values of 50 for the channel 1 temp set point, and that box is red indicating that's what that red line is down below. I can scroll forwards and backwards through the menu by pressing to the right or to the left of the legend. Now it's showing 76 for the channel 1 temp sensor, and that's the yellow line. The last thing to cover would be the four different trend charts. Right now it's showing trend chart 1. If I press the 1, this is a quick way to slide to a different trend chart view, trend chart 2, 3, or 4. We will actively show one trend chart at a time. So if I press trend chart 2. I haven't set it up yet, uh, but it will give me a warning saying we're going to stop trending channel 1 temp if we move to chart 2. Also, some changes can happen on the fly. Others, you'll need to stop the trend chart and then press play. For instance, if I go to main menu and I go and do some editing of the y-axis scale, change that from 125 down to 90. And if I change my time span from 5 minutes to 10 minutes, and I press done, notice the y-axis changed to 90. But if I look at my time span, it's still showing 5 minutes worth of information. So the y-axis is a change that can be made on the fly, but if you do change your time span, you'll need to come back in, stop the chart, start playing the chart, and now your time span is 10 minutes. That will update. So that completes how to set up trending in the F4T. For more information, please check out our website, www.watlow.com forward slash F4T.